Hey guys and welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We're currently in the Stone Spies. I keep putting down all the beacons and I don't mean to. Uh, we're currently in the Stone Spies trying to make our way up to an old, well it was actually part of a, a, an old base for someone who we turn, it turns out is a bit of a bad guy. He wasn't a bad guy when he did that but the Jedi Temple absolutely just let him be and uh, you know that downfall of the bad well the good guys led to the bad guys and we're trying to stop uh him taking over a uh, tanalor sanctuary for the jedi and to be able to do that we are gonna have to try and make our way through this entire puzzle series thank you very much little droids okay cool uh we have of course oh hello just picked up a little blaster it's pretty good does does the job pretty well i've got an examine over there don't another mind if i do there. there is another chamber over there yeah, we just used that that beam to open up that air vent over there and as you saw on my way over here the air vents are very good at getting our little glider buddies here to lift up higher now unfortunately the uh, the flight mechanics in this game not the smoothest but uh, as long as i pay close attention and try not to lift myself up too much because it turns out that is not the winner as long as I don't do that, everything should be fine. What what is even going on? Uh, do we think the Bedlam Raider can face them? No, it turns out not. Don't sit, sit. Okay, all right. He he he's not gonna just back off though. We have to take care of him. Uh, I think the Bedlam Raider might actually win this one. Uh, it's it's gonna be tough because. You know, they are all just a little bit strong around here. Okay, so that's that one done. I wonder how much... Oh, mate, you don't want to come after me. No, no, seriously. Back, back, back off. I don't want anything to do with you, man. Okay, fine. I tried to warn you. I tried to warn you. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not going for that. Little charge shot in your face. Oh, I don't have any... Oh, that's not who I wanted to attack. That, that little puppy got in the way. That that was unfortunate. Uh, what I actually wanted to do was something more like that so I can get enough shots to do this as he's running up. Oh, hey, 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 hey. That was not cool, man. That was not cool at all. I thought I was going to charge shot in his face, but it's not the way. Okay, that that was the way though. Another quick shot. Maybe I have maybe not. Oh, there, like click, click, click in his face. Okay, maybe not then. Maybe not. I'm not good at managing the ammo for the gun yet. I, I only got it last episode, so uh, we're, we're we're still trying to figure out the uh, correct attack patterns here. Okay, looks cool. That's obviously one of the ways through. Oh, what is it? Is this obviously one of the ways through? Yeah, yeah, it's obviously one of the ways through. But I'd like to have a look around. Like, is there anything behind the water? full I tell you this game is not very good at following such um, what's the word like conventions such things the things that we know to be true in games like this force echo hello what we got here I well, begin to worry for this project do you? it is not our place to question well even the Padawan sends something amiss Okay, seeds of concern. Though bound to Kobo by purpose, the Jedi nevertheless begin to harbor misgivings about the ways in which their mission is proceeding. Okay, so what's Dagon Garara? I think that was his name, the the, the the Jedi who was in a tank and we let free, in a back to tank, and we let free and he ended up being not a very nice guy. Yeah, uh, maybe maybe they were talking about him. I think so. All right, anyway, we need to get in here. We need to try and free the orb of power from its current coupling prison. Oh, mate. I didn't actually want to hit that at all, but we got it. Okay, so that was uh, three hits with the lightsaber and then three blasts with the gun. Seems to finish off one of these Bedlam Raiders. Okay, that's cool. It's a little bit of a shame that I'm now completely without force powers. I say I can still move things around, but in combat force powers, I am badly, badly deficient. Uh, okay, uh, there's a coupler. We need to try and put an orb into that coupler. Um, I wonder whether the thing that I'm looking for... Can we pull this through here? Maybe. Okay, got stuck on this ledge. That is a good thing to know. It looks like it could also do with a little bit of healing. So it's something that I need to use in... Was it to get up into there? 
Actually, wait, 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 wait. There's the only other place we could go. Let, let's pull that back. See what's up in there. For some reason, I didn't think that the place that we got the uh, the platform from would be the one that we need let's to, show this to Z. Uh, go and look into. So another data disk. That's pretty cool. We've got a robot out there, a droid, <laughs> if you will, uh, that will collect this off of me and uh, give me rewards for the numbers that I get. So that's pretty cool. Uh, here is the orb that we're looking for and we've already Welcome found Jedi. thank you enemies of peace threaten the galactic frontier oh. and our republic once we cross the abyss tananor could be a bastion to repel that threat a beacon for hope and justice across the outer rim tananor was more than a mission to her it was a dream of a better future yeah may maybe an unobtainable dream i think i know what i need to do with this now we just kind of pull it this way beautiful uh do i want to maybe pull it a little more this way is it going to travel for me are you going to do it you're bouncing quite nicely there we go that's that's as far as i'd like that so now surely when i take this orb out of its position the door still stays open look at that beautiful beautiful the game has revealed itself unto me okay so we got this bit uh, do i not interact with this somehow there's normally an interact with okay so that that's not the way that goes over this way i wonder whether this look, look, look there's ways for this to go uh for the signal to travel into this i wonder if we can redirect with the power yeah this is just a portal puzzle right we, we've seen this before oh mm, maybe yeah maybe not may i i thought that that was going to do something more spectacular than it did and i'm not sure if just like it needs twisting around or something i don't know if that's a thing i know even how to do okay so we've been given a hole to travel through here what happens if i do that is there a reason to have both i don't know i don't know looking at the map let's see what we've got so we've got to, it really is something to do with the movable object let's go out there and have a look and see if that open path is anything to us um i really do feel like this this is a uh, a focusing device of some description yeah i just, I just don't know how to ooh, make it work i feel like that's better because this look this is like an eye on this side but no, it's not. It's not doing what I was hoping it would do. Um, this is somewhat unusable. Okay, I really feel like I should be able to. Let, let's try and just walk around this coupling a little more. I feel like it should just turn in spot. Um, yeah, no. Okay. Uh, B D, could you be helpful at this point? I've completely forgot. Ah, uh, not that way. I completely forgot that you have a new power here. Uh, if I could remember how to activate it, that would be great. Okay, there, of course, it's just bring him up and trigger. So I should now be able to just bring this across the floor towards this, right? Is, is that a thing that's going to work? It looks like oh, well, we're missing a little bit of the fire right here. Let's just pass that across. Okay, okay, okay. That's why we couldn't um give it a bit of a, a refocus so what happens if what happens if we push this out the way no bd i'm gonna i'm gonna have to ask you to stop but if we push that out the way it collapses over that way we can totally open this one up right surely sh is, what is this oh it's a weird little uh, piece of wall uh we just spread that there and hopefully up and through yeah just as simple as that just as simple as that uh, i forgot the buttons because it was 24 hours ago that i learned okay so that that's fine what are we gonna get with this crystal though it could be literally anything i think we're due for heart for life we've been getting a lot of force essence but maybe we're gonna get some more life actually a perk not that i've changed my perks for a long time uh, all right we've got a little bit of a canister over there to throw this into no i don't know whether i'm going to be able to take this through the water uh, is that is that going to let me just like drag it through or is it going to knock it out of my hand no, no, it's fine i'm not gonna not gonna be able to fire the beam through that though am i that's probably what it wants us uh, to not do uh so finally we've got one of these that can move and uh, surely we're just going for the last steam vent there i wouldn't know what else we were doing we reach the top now. i think we can i think we can even bd it seems a little bit high let me just uh watch this and see if there's well, 
Alright, we did that. Is there anything else that I need to go and check? It doesn't look like it. We even went in there, though I am curious as to... Oh, it's, uh, it's Fort Carlin. Okay, ne never mind about that. Let's go and uh, check out the rest of this place. Uh, so, I'm wondering what's over there. Have we been... Oh, that's where we came from. Okay, never mind that. This here is somewhere I wanted to check out. Uh, it is... Uh, oh, it's Skeever St Oh, hello, Scoover Steve. How you doing, mate? It's good to see. I, I was not expecting to see you here. I tried to get up here last time uh, from a different um, from from that that second one there, um, the, the updraft there. Uh, unfortunately, there wasn't enough to get me over here. Look, look at all this. There's so many places. Can I jump for that and then right uh, left trigger for it? I, d I don't know. There's plenty to is this where i came in that, that's a question looks like it might very way well be the way i came in I mean, it still looks mighty suspicious, and maybe we'll check it out later. But well, Scoover Steve, let's let's have a chat with you. What's going on, man? Watch where you look, man. I always do. The frightful Rayfish is known to stun his quarry with a blinding flash of light. Rayfish. I guess you have a plan. Look at the box, though, right? Ha 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 ha! Cal, you you kindly lubber. Don't call me a lubber, mate. Sometimes I forget you only half cooked around the gills. The Rayfish has attracted less kindly fishers, however. What? I know a noble who deigned to keep one as a pet. As a pet. Yeah, yeah. Are you just oh no, off he goes. Just just diving. And he's gonna have a little fight. And then oh he throws it in there. Nice. Okay, we've got a rayfish. Blinding rayfish. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Safely away. Good work. Oh, but uh, the noble was nice so lucky. Well I guess she not. The, rayfish at a gala and the guest of honor, a senator? The senator. Oh, sorry, I've got to read this before it disappears. The blinding rayfish has made a home in the precarious rock pools and watered gulches of Kobo. This is getting harder to read, I tell you. They are mostly spotted in the ruins of the old High Republic settlement. With their protruding jaw and skeletal appearance, they lie in wait for their prey, posing as a fish long dead. Before stunning them with a sudden, blinding flash of light, then striking their bewildered victims with singular lethality. How are they making that flash of light? Force knows, ain't it? What's the right side peering in the tank? Oh no. Blinded by greed, huh? Huh? <laughs> no, blinded by the fish. Blinded by the fish. <laughs> Good one. Oh. Aye, indeed. Yeah, alright, that's enough. Aye. <laughs> uh, one more, one more, let's see what he's got. Talk. The tale continues. Oh no. When we last spoke, I warned of the grapnels arrival. Uh, yes. That great ship came descending on us like an anchor cut in the deep. Ne'er a more fearsome ship did you clap by on. She was sharp, like a, like a. This is his childhood like stories fish, again, right? Like a nose of a bony fish. She had three great claws. Aye, the, the landing gear. But when her great jaws parted. Yeah, the I, I the, the room. Yeah. Uh, uh, will you hush and let's give tell the story? I don't know, mate. <sighs> her great jaws parted. Disgorging her dread crew. A more vile pack of fisher folk you never did see. And led by the vilest of them all, Captain Wanyakwet. Wanyakwet. The bearded bezelous bat that he intended to fish in our waters. Trophy hunters they were, in search of the most rare. Oh, can you imagine? Well, we Sakavians refused. We had the great famine to contend with, see? Every fish was precious. But the ferocious captain didn't care for our troubles. With a belch, he produced from his creel a mighty harp. Well, from his gullet. Wait, cried wee Scuba, hopping off of his rock. I know these waters like the taste of my own tongue. There'll be few fish beneath yon ice. But, continued I, if you take me with you, and if you leave my village be... I could show you how to coax the rarest of fishes onto your What life. Was that young skeever uh, you? The dread captain stroked his briny beard. After a long moment, he held out his hand and grinned most terribly. Lord, said he, you be a log. 
Fabi requiring another from a crew. One who knows the curve of the sea. Oh, Cal. If I could only go back to that moment when I shook Captain Wet's rigid hand. If only I'd never stepped off my wheel. Well, you want to go back? But my encounter with Undan had given me a taste for the unknown. I couldn't resist the call of adventure. And I had to save my people. Very noble. So, I left with the grapnel, thinking the business done. I would be a fisher for Captain Whit. Of course, my adventure had only begun. For just when the grapnel hit orbit. More trouble, I take it? Ah, but I've havered on long enough. I come back another time and I'll, I'll tell you more. We, we need to put together a super edit of, of his life story because I, I kind of forgotten the first parts of it. I, I, like he lived in a fisher town with all his other fisher folk and then like so the, the famine happened so they all went fishing and he was the one who managed to save the day and then this captain turned up. Yeah, it's a little confusing. I might have to try and figure out what it was all uh, about. When a foreign fishing crew arrived to plunder Skavitar's sea, Scuba dealt the, struck a deal. He would lend them his talents in the condition that they never fish on his homeworld. He joined the crew and set off on the Grapnel, a starship captain by the vile Beselic called Wayne at Wet. Literally just heard his name and I still can't pronounce it right. But did you know what I saw over Scuva's shoulder here? Look at this. Nice. Brilliant. I will take myself. Oh, that's a new one. The Dathomerian Red. From Dathomir, I do presume, the Death Planet. Uh, right, we also saw down in here that... No, 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 I'm pressing the up button. Uh, that, how do I... How... Cow. Cow, how do we interact it? Brilliant, good. We've, we've got this. Having a look around the bottom of the ocean, is that... The ocean? The rock pool? Ooh, we, got, we got some hard leather. Uh, looking around, though, do I see anything else? No, there's not even a little cave or anything to check out, so I think we are good with this particular rock. Catch it! later skeeve i love you a lot let's uh, let's go on and uh see if we can't circle around here i don't know i don't know where where my my thermal is it's not it's not where i'm going for i'll tell you that much uh oh it dropped it literally just dropped me i didn't press anything it was like no that's good enough okay i guess i where is it wanting me to go to go like legitimately where does it want me to go have i got to go all the way back to the beginning and then fly back as I see fit. I mean, that might be it and I will, oh look at that, did you see that rock face up there? Maybe I was supposed to go up there at some point, but we'll do that in a little bit and I'm gonna bring you back when I get back to a decent part of the story. What's that over there? What is that over there? Let's get you out. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. The, that. That's an actual doorway. That's a thing to go check out. Do we have to catch an updraft first? I feel like we should. Let's go catch this thermal here, like this, and then we're just gonna turn around this way and head in here. Now, I might just be actually getting myself incredibly stuck, but what, what is this? I don't remember, oh, hello. I have never seen this place before. Bam, bam, oh, there's, oh, there's more of them. I'm blocking. How dare they? Oh, he's also doing a big block. That was a, that was a good little, oh, that was a good little evade, but that was bad. Jedi who came through here. This is nice. Do think of all the Jedi that came through here. Okay, so there's some Kobo matter here. I'm probably gonna have to like drag it out somewhere. There's something to interact with. Nice find. Let's take this back to Z. That is very cool. Very cool. There's no way of going up there. This also might be a dead end. Let's have a look. A fallen Padawan. Oh, whoa! The emergence on uh, the emergency. Oh, sorry, on Kobo devastated the planet, and the High Republic settlement was no exception. As the ground beneath them gave way, many were caught in the erupting earth and crushed beneath the mighty masonry erected for their own betterment. Eh. 
Yeah, look, there's still legs there. Didn't that happen hundreds of years ago? Why are there still legs there? <laughs> That's, that seems a little bit off for me. Okay, I'm having a look around and I'm not seeing it. Look, 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 look. How do I get into that? Look, that is it. That's the end of the puzzle. Hmm. I'm hoping at some point I just learn how to, you know, use the force powers and get rid of it. Okay, we are back in the very, very first chamber because there's a bunch of green lights here. And so I'm going to take advantage of that. If we come outside, you can see that this is all the uh, all the areas where we've been using the lasers to open up the vents. And, uh, you know, their job is done now. The vents have been opened. So let's drag this through here and see if we can't use it in a slightly more practical way for the betterment of cow. Uh, can I just, like, fire that up there? That, that worked. Okay, that was good. That was good. I also would then like to throw into that one if we can grab it like so beautiful beautiful and then over there good throw yeah good throw good throw uh so we then creep our way back through here and just give this a little push and see where it a little, little bit more push see where it ends up it's up there okay can almost definitely bd can you lend a hand please mate just drag a whole load of this absolutely goopy stuff down this way to that spot there i think that's a good coverage uh let's then get rid of bd well i say get rid of let's put bd back on my back uh double push this and hopefully now we've got ourselves yeah a trailing mess of destruction here so this now opens up i mean i'll interact with that thank you can get the data Another data disk, okay. Uh, that also kind of felt like maybe, maybe it should let me through here, but no. I am noting, however, I am noting. Let's have a look on the on the. Oh, it still says it's it's locked up. Uh, that I should be able to fire. This is where we just were, where I was like, that's the end of the puzzle. Uh, th this this here is just through the wall, right? Maybe I could fire. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about this. We're, we're going to try it anyway. We're going to try it. I'm going to just, like, fire goop through. Mm, I don't know whether it's letting me fire goop through here or not. Uh, let's then push this over this way. We'll go We'll go have a look and see what's happening on the other side of this wall. I don't know whether the goop disappears or whether it's a thing that we can, like, just carry on using. I, I don't know. I don't know. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna keep on here. And like I say, I'm now going to run around to the... Next, oh, it disappears over time. Oh, that's not handy. Or maybe the amount that I've got or something like that. Let, let's go. I don't know. Do we go see? The thing that I'm noticing is that there's still this being marked on my map. So I'm wondering whether we've missed some. Like, look, look up there. Is that actual Kobo matter still? I need help. 
Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. We're going to put down a whole line of this just to make sure I've got it all. Uh, and then push, push, right? Push, push. Okay, I think I've now put it everywhere where it existed. We can kind of just keep moving around with it as long as I keep the flow going. Uh, and I'm not really seeing it catch anything else. So if it's not catching that as that... Hmm. Okay, let's go check out the other side, like I said we should. So the beam is actually there. Hmm, I don't know how to make it through, though. I'm going to guess... Then please, I keep buddy. doing that, that's bad. Uh, I'm going to guess that actually this is not a solvable problem yet. Oh, press the button. That's not what we wanted to do. Uh, is there already too much down? That's my main question. Yeah, look, it's already starting to fade. Is it? Is it? Is it? Let, let's... Mm, yeah, it's already fading. Okay, I'm just going to try and remember my best to come back and check that one. But for now, we're just going to come to the Grand Courtyard and move on to the next bit of what I hope to be the storyline. We're going to get ourselves a little rest and save because I'm nearly out of all of my heels. And then it's time to explore this place. And what are we actually going to find up here? I don't know. I'm expecting some serious bad guys and opposition. I feel like they actually wanted me to go over there. Let's just stand up here quick and see what was no I, I actually couldn't go that way that's fine that's fine this is Let's the best one what is, it expects me to find? what is this oh can i can i find another way of looking through also look check out this glass mm, nice uh i'm expecting now that we've had yeah look 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 we've got ourselves another bounty hunter right is that that i'm presuming that's what that is i mean double stance so. Hello, how are you doing? I'm going to pull this up. Woo no you don't. How about we do this? <laughs> I like the gun. It's um, kind of useful. I would like to look where I'm fighting, thank you. Are you trying to speak to me? Because I'll be honest, I'm too up in arms about what's going on here. 
people. I think you'll find that I am indeed actually pretty fast. Maybe not as fast as you are. Oh, I wanted to fight. I wanted to fire that a couple of times. Can I just do this? I thought I could hold that down and it'll be fine. Okay, it turns out no. Two, three. Fire your gun, my boy. Thank you. I feel like there's something I should be able to do there when he launches that. Nothing! I think he's okay. I, th I think... You know what? Let's do one of those. Let's do one of these. Hello! Lightsaber on lightsaber time. Raiders with lightsabers. Good thing they're not trained to use the force. Good thing indeed. That was quite the boss, but not not like the most difficult of bosses. The Bedlam Raider Lieutenant, the Double Blader. The Lieutenant is, skilled is a skilled duelist. Watch out for parries and counterattacks. The Double Bladed Staff can easily defeat projectiles, so qu close quarters combat is ideal. Rivis saw fit to reward the finest and most loyal Bedlam Raiders warriors with their very own lightsabers. Totems the Jedi has taken from the Jedi Quarry in ages past. The Lieutenant, armed with a double-bladed saber, also employs a wrist-mounted grappling hook to both traverse the battlefield and attack opponents. And uh, yeah, I feel like there's something I could have done with that tra grappling hook, sort of, you know, Bogdo style, where I, I cut that, but yeah, that turns out, no. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a look and see if we can slice this and see what's behind this door. Hello, anybody here? Not sure exactly what we're supposed to be looking for, but looking we are. Oh, 17 meters away. I'm in the right area. I'm in the right area. Looking out over here. Okay, so that's where I'm supposed to see this door from. Oh, oh, look, there's more stuff up on top of that area. Maybe that is something to do with the puzzle that we couldn't solve. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, if we're lucky, BD1 gets some sort of uh, special skill that just absolutely fires the goop everywhere. No, no getting through, because the Devastated Remains... Uh, re the Devastated Remains, sorry. Although some structures were sp spared total annihilation, nothing survived intact. Strewn debris and overgrown nature speak to a world first devastated and then abandoned. Ooh... Yes. I mean, it does kind of feel abandoned, but also, like, there's a bunch of, like, prospectors around. Surely they'd have come and, like, emptied this place out by now. Strange device. Looks broken. What is that? I mean, they started playing the Star Wars music at me. It's got to be important. Like, was that Luke's song? Destroy it now. Destroy what? Oh, Dagon, really? Okay, so we're, we're seeing two, two Jedi... And Dagon Garara, he just killed one of the Jedi and, uh, oh, he's actually getting pretty angry and using some serious... Oh, not the bold Jedi. We've been listening to him a lot. Dagon, you're right. I mean, no, he's not. That, that's the problem. Centauri. Was it Centauri? Whatever this device is, Dagon killed other Jedi for it. Pretty serious. Device acquired. A mysterious High Republic device. That sounds pretty serious. The emergence uh, uh, were the result of a catastrophic event in High Republic history, the consequence of which was chunks of debris emerging from hyperspace and colliding with nearby planets and, or objects at incredible speeds. One certain such emergence occurred over Kobo, devastating its moon and raining, raining meteors down on the planet. What? What is this like... Is this supposed to just signify the, the strong force echo? Broken High Republic device. A broken device of High Republic design. Although it's hard to discern in its heavily damaged state, the device may have been used in navigation or as a smaller part of a larger unit. Okay, I mean, that would be cool. Any, any more? That seemed like a pretty serious piece of storyline there. So if we've got some more um, things to read, I'm going to hang around. Turns out no. All right, let's 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 slice that open. Let's see what's on the other. Is, is it going to be a big fight? We got a big fight? I don't think so. More stuff to scan, though, please, oh. if we can know some more. I think Master T'Pol had this one. Really? The thesis of a Yardle, a tone by uh, Jedi Master Yodel. Yardle? I don't know. Detailing little-known Jedi arts. Unfortunately, her notes are uh, both incomplete and perhaps deliberately vague. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We, we can go up there. I mean, what else is going on? We've got ourselves a little echo. I want to look behind me before I go and do that. Okay, cool. Let's, let's see what we've got here. Thank you. Bam. Noises. Hold them back. Oh, not the stoic Padawan. Oh. 
And look, these ones are skeletons. So why wasn't the other one a skeleton? I don't know. When struck by calamity, the evacuation of Cobra began swiftly. Some, however, fought first to defend their work. Despite their efforts, such attempts were ultimately futile. Gutted. Gutted. What? So was this bit of rock here supposed to have come out of, sub of hyperspace and just, like, punched its way through the roof? The window leads back outside. What, this window? Uh, is, is that what... <laughs> hit, the, hit the wrong trigger button. Is that is that where I want to go? Uh, let's stand up and have a look. We're on the roof, so that's pretty Master good. Master Cordova said that Centauri Cree had a lab on Kobo's moon. Yes. Maybe we can learn more there. M maybe. Are we anywhere near where we are supposed to be, though? I, I'm not sure that we are. What, what is this? What is this? Okay, the new shortcut has been unlocked. Surely we were supposed to go... Up there. Is that is that not really the case? Ah, I see, I see. We've we've got ourselves I must have missed it here, up the top here. We've got ourselves a small little glider to fly with. Let's interact with this uh, force crystal, see what it's going to tell us. Uh, what what uh, give us rather than tell us i suppose and we've got ourselves a marksmanship perk okay that is cool but i think with that i am gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time uh where we're gonna make our way up and may maybe confront dagon garara or maybe something like that i'll see you that then when we're gonna do that bye Ready to go.